A lot of people got what I do twisted. So this is not, like I tell you, this, any video that you see, everything is on the internet for anybody to look up. So it should be no confusion, no debate. So why or who thinks this is wrong or whatever you think, you can look it up. It's public information for anybody. Now, one thing about me, I'm different, or I can be the same, whatever category you want to put me in. But let me tell you one thing about me. FOMDTF is the brand, it's the company, it's what I stand for. Focus on me print is what it is. Now, when I came up with the brand, it's because I'm a printer as well, and I want to figure out what I can do to take my printing skills and show and broadcast to the world so they can see, hey, if you want to have quality prints, if you want to go ahead and start your a printing company or start you a t-shirt business, then maybe you need to reach out. So let me show you what you need to do. Let me show you these transfers. Let me show you these gain sheets. Let me show you this ink, this powder, this film. Let me show you the consistencies day in and day out. Now, anybody can mimic what I do or anybody can do what I do, but the main thing is this. You have to become one with the machine. Man versus the machine. Man versus the printer. Now, when you follow all the rules and regulations, you still will have a lot of mishaps. You still will get the banding and the clogging and the inks and everything. Everybody and would know because you can justify what I'm saying because you're actually going through this right now, having printer problems, head issues, head striking issues, powder probably not right, the film not right, and the, or the measurements of your actual print, the way your ink and your powder and your film and everything equals and adds up, all they got to measure up to one particular thing, quality products. So if you don't get this measurement right, or you taking this film and making sure this powder, make sure this ink and the humidity and everything in consideration, then you're going to be having some problems. So what, so what works for me, may not work for you but you can go ahead and adapt to your environment learn about the products that you're using and get your temperatures humidity right and you can figure it out as you go because it's a trial and error everything is testing by trial and error the do's and the don'ts right right repetition being competitive over and over it's a cycle continuous cycle so don't think for once that I'm here to try to smut on anybody because I don't need to talk about anybody to do what I do I'm going to bring awareness so if you want to print what would be the best printer for you what type of printing are you trying to do are you just trying to do a uh, hobby to lead up to a business or you try to have a business but you don't really decide exactly how to go about doing it anything and everything under the sun concerning DTF printing I can help you with if I don't know it I will tell you I don't know it and that is it so when the people reach out to me they ask questions what printers or uh, how is your ink or how much is your prices for so it's a lot of different things that a lot of people are going to be asking me and I have to answer questions for people all over the world all over the globe doesn't matter what race what color what time I know it's different time zones so I try my best to try to be some type of substance some type of rock some type of um you know, source between here and there and try to be continuous and continuously and continuously upgrading or keeping all the information that I know in, in, in a in a in a teachable way to where it can make sense to somebody. So I don't speak to people just to try to sell you anything. I speak to people for you to go and research, look it up. See if it's for you. See if it's what you want to do. What have I already purchased? 
It's, it didn't work for me. They told me it was, but it's not. So you want to have all these different variables and have everything that you think or what somebody told you. You want to take this into consideration and go use Google. Go use Google. Google the terms. Go understand what's going on. Go back to YouTube. Type it in. You can see multiple videos of somebody doing from the from the mid, the top, the, the bottom, from the, the people don't know, pretend like they know, to the people who do know. You got to go sort these things out with yourself and what you do and make it, make it to where you can understand what's going on. And don't understand by you're using your paycheck or your or your, your wallet or using your bank account or your credit card. I'm not talking about that understanding. But we already there. So now what we're gonna do to get past that. Since we already here, we already made the, the mistakes of spending and buying and, and doing this and, and not getting what we want out of it. What are we gonna do now? So that's where we're where we where we are at. So that's why when a person comes and asks me, what type of printer do you recommend me to have? I tell you what type of budget first. And what are you, first, not the budget. It's what type of printing are you trying to do? You're trying to start a business. You're trying to just do it for a hobby. And then once we get that out the way, then I will tell you what type of budget do you have? So I can point you in the right direction, what you need or what you should be doing or a possibility what you should be doing. So that's where it's at. Anything else than that, it doesn't make any sense to me. Anything other than that, I'm not, I don't want to hear about it. I have people who actually reach out to me that I talk to, that I answer my phone for, and I tell them, hey, go get the, look for this type of printer or look for this type of printer. And they steady send me printers that I did not ask them or printers that we did not discuss. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm not gonna tell you, hey, look for this printer and this printer, then you send me something else that I didn't ever mention. And I say, hey, yeah, go with that one, it's perfect. I don't need to play games like that. So when the people, that's why when a lot of people reach out to me, it's like, don't be a person that's reaching out to me that don't have no financial, uh, don't have no money. If your finances is not right, don't reach out to me. And it's not, in a bad way, but it's in a way to where it'll save you some time and save me some time with a person just trying to just inquire on something that they don't have no intentions of buying. So anybody that reaches out to me about any type of printer, just make sure that you have a budget. And any printer that you're gonna get these days are gonna be over $4,000. I'm just gonna tell you straight up right now before anybody starts to say, hey, I only have this budget, you're gonna spend over $4,000. For American printer, Asian printer, any one of the printers you think, you're gonna spend over four thousand dollars. So, if anyone watching this video and decide to say, "Hey, what type of printer you use? What type of printer you recommend?" If you don't have four four grand or over, you don't need to waste your time by calling me because it's just like I'm gonna tell you about something, and then it is a waste. Me on the phone talking to you, I could have been doing something else important or doing something that I know is gonna be beneficial to me and somebody else. And not just wondering, hey, you can look at the YouTube videos and see what type of printer that I'm printing with. And you can take that right there and you can go off that right there with exactly that you need to be doing or what type of printer you're going to want to be printing with or whatever from that point. Instead of you just saying, hey, I seen you printing a video. You know, you got to have a budget for this stuff, guys. So I'm going to leave you guys with that and I get back.